good afternoon. Uh, <coughs> it's afternoon while I'm doing this video actually, it's just gone midday uh, where I am. It's a beautiful day by the way. Very nice day on Sunk Island. <coughs> um, I was actually just inspired to do this video after reading a, a teammate of mine's post. Um, I put a post on Facebook and, and Asher's uh, I won't talk too much about Ash and his background and all the rest of it, but basically, in a nutshell, Ash got sacked from his job uh, not too long before Christmas for doing, for working on his side project outside of working hours. So just wrap your head around that. His, his bosses at work, who he works nine to five for, sacked him for working on his side project outside working hours. So just wrap your head around that. So, so. This is the kind of, this is the thing that I hate, or that I certainly don't envy about normal jobs. And I say this all the time because one day I might have to get a normal job. There's no hiding from that. You know, things might not go to plan how I'd like them to, uh, and I'm sure some people will be really happy about that. Um, but the fact of the matter is, uh, things might not go to plan. I might have to work a normal job. But how how on earth can somebody who employs you dictate what you do outside of your working hours? I think that's a fucking disgrace, to be quite honest. Um, and I think it just epitomises the whole employee uh, lifestyle. Um, now, I'm not saying all employers are bad, because they're not. Some employers are absolutely awesome. And, you know, some of us would, would love to go and work for certain employers. There's no two ways about that. But how, uh, the, the, if, the, if employers have got that power where they can dictate what you do outside work, then that's, for me, that's just a load of bollocks. And um, This is why me and Claire do what we do, and this is why we, we try and encourage other people to do the same thing. And we've just started a, a new little thing, well, a new little thing. Somebody actually made the quote to me, and I thought it was an awesome quote, and it's just about the rise of the side hustle. Because the majority of people in this day and age want more from life, they want more uh, for the family life, they want more for the kids, they want more money, they want more holidays, they want more freedom, which is the big one, the freedom, the time freedom thing. And what that means to me, time freedom, basically means to me that you get the opportunity to do things that you want when you want without, um, without work dictating to you. And uh, listen, I appreciate, I mean, I still play rugby, I have to be at rugby training a certain time uh, on certain days during the week. That's just how it is. I love doing that, by the way. Um, but the, the end goal for me and Claire, obviously building the side business, what we do is, because when I finish playing rugby, um, I don't, I've got a fear of going into uh, a proper job. Not necessarily for the reasons that have happened to Ash, but just because I don't fancy the whole idea of being told I have to be at work at this time, I have to leave work at this time, I get this amount of time for my lunch. I don't like the idea of that. To me, that's not really, there's not really much freedom around that. And then getting told, oh, actually this year you can have 28 days off. Um, we'll give you 28 days off. So, I mean, I don't really fancy that. I mean, and like I said, I'm fully aware that I may well, that I may well have to go and do that at some point in my life. But what drives me and what drives uh, what drives me and Claire at this moment in time, what we're doing with our side business is um, the the chance or, or the opportunity to put ourselves in a position where we don't have to answer to other people. And the fact that we can do it on the side while we're still in our normal roles, while I'm still playing rugby. Claire's actually on maternity at the moment from NHS, but that way, go, go. He's a bit out of shape bit out of shape and his hair's a bit long so we need to uh, get him out a bit more and get his bloody hair cut but um but yeah so we we want our end goal for us is to have the the the, the time freedom but to get the time freedom i don't believe that you can get time freedom from um a regular working job and this is not bashing jobs at, at all because that's that's <laughs> that is life people you know people need jobs People have to go out and get jobs, and as I've said twice already, three times already, I may one day have to go out and get a uh, proper job. But 
the, the, the fear for that with me is like like I said having to be somewhere at a set time and finish and, and come home at a set time to me that's not real freedom that that's my life being lived on somebody else's terms and I don't really I don't really like the thought of that and I know for a lot of people it's hard to get your head around this kind of thing because we've been programmed to work go to work so we can make enough money to pay the bills um, and, and if we're fortunate enough to make enough money from work get a holiday one holiday per year that's pretty much how the average uh, British lifestyle works and I'm sure it's the same in other countries I think America's far worse I think they work longer hours and get less time off but in the UK that's typically the, the, the working week 9 to 5 28 days holiday a year and you know what if what if you <laughs> this is another thing about what 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 makes me fearful of normal jobs as well is what if I want to put holidays in to go away on holiday with family let's say I've managed to save enough from my job to afford to go on holiday what if I go and put my uh, request in to take holiday and, and work say sorry no you, we need you in work that week there's no real freedom there your life's dictated by other people now like I said already uh, you know people have to work jobs and one day I may well and truly go and have to work a job and if I do I'll bite the bullet and I'll get on with it because you've got to do what you've got to do for your family that's 100% true as well but if you can build something alongside of what you already do, what doesn't interfere with what you already do, what doesn't take a mass amount of time up, you can do it through the mobile phone, you can do it through the laptop, you can do it online. Why would you not be open to taking a look at it? Why would you not be able to take in a look at it? Because that way then you never know, you might get that time freedom where you can wake up when you want. You can take your kids to school, you can pick them up from school. You know, all this kind of stuff. And that's, that's a whole... Uh, idea of freedom to me and that's obviously what we're really striving for with our side business so if you are somebody that's kind of resonating with this a little bit and you're thinking you know what fuck it i might just have a chat with ben see what he's got going on and see if it's for me it might not be for me you know what i mean it might not be for you you might have a chat with me and you might say you know what ben it's not really for me if that's the case that's no problem i can point you in the direction of other things what might suit you because i'd love nothing more than to help other people develop the confidence and the belief in themselves that they can go on and do something alongside what they already do without interfering too much with what you already do either and start to create something on the side what you never know you just never know where it might go so ash if you do watch these videos i'm sure you'll let me know if you've watched this one to the end but thanks for inspiring me mate today um very inspirational facebook post a lot of people don't get it mate and that's that's just how the world is but I get it 100% and I'm chuffed for you and I'm proud of you um, and like I said you've just given me another bit of inspiration today not that I need much inspiration I'm already inspired and motivated but just reading that post and seeing how pumped and excited you are for your future uh, has just inspired me to do this video so good on you mate and anybody else that's thinking along them lines as well good for you uh, and I hope it really works out for you whatever you're looking to achieve so thanks for watching as always if you're watching on YouTube uh, please like share and subscribe if you're watching on any of my other channels and you've got any comments or, or questions or anything like that please come at me uh, I don't bite and I always like to make new friends and if I can give some value to anybody I'm more than happy to do so so have a great day and I'll see you all again soon